performance testing using NeoLoad, and this is a real browser protocol. Uh, so let's uh, let's go through. Uh, know your instructor, right? I would like to introduce about myself, and I'll be your instructor uh, throughout this uh, course. So let's look at some of my attributes. So I'm Naveen. I am a certified expert in NeoLoad. And I have worked across all these domains, retail, banking, finance, insurance, healthcare, telecom, logistics, life science, etc. I have over 800 plus of live training experience. So this is my credentials. So about the benefits, right? Uh, by joining this course, uh, what all that you can expect as a learner from this course. So let's look at this. Okay, so there will be a live question and answer clarification uh, daily, right? So whenever the session happens, towards the end of the session, right? You can ask, we can have an interactive session all the sessions uh, that all the live sessions will be recorded and this will be given access to you for lifetime okay so whoever subscribes it or enrolls the course they will get the access to the recorded sessions live troubleshooting session so this is uh, another advantage Right? So if you are facing any issue with your application or if you are finding any difficulty in uh, creating a script or setting up a configuration scenario or anything of that sort, uh, I will make you a presenter. You can share your screen and we can, uh, uh, I, I will help you in troubleshoot uh, your uh, issue. And of course, uh, we know that, right? Uh, so now uh, Trisentis has acquired Neotis and uh, they are providing one part of certification which is a professional certification. So I can guide you on uh, how you can uh, uh, you know, equip yourself in terms of hands-on and what you can expect from this uh, professional certification and how you can clear this, right? And having this such certification, right, this will add a good weightage on your profile so if a recruiter is looking at a non-certified person and a certified person more chance right the more preference can be given to the certified folks right so uh, towards the end of the course uh, we will be having a separate session just to discuss on this uh, professional certification okay about the course content, let's look at the course content. I will also show you the course content. Um, so we will be discussing about different performance testing concepts. Again, these concepts are the uh, foundation or the fundamental of any performance testing. Okay, only the tool will be different, but the concepts remain the same. We'll go through the new loads, new load specific features and functionalities right which is some some of them are not uh, some of can be is common can be seen in other industry leading uh, performance testing tools some of them is very specific to neo load or i would say indigenous to the neo load we will be looking at that okay and uh, different components of neo load we'll be discussing about uh, uh, all the what are the different components that are there, right? And almost all these sessions, right, will be of practical demonstration and hands-on. Except for uh, two or three sessions where we'll be discussing about some concepts. Apart from that, uh, we will be only focusing on the hands-on. Okay. Uh, anybody has any question? I heard somebody unmuted. Any questions on the course content or 
benefits okay i take that as a no uh, hi sir good yeah. morning uh, hi uh, sir, hi very good uh, so uh, will it be included with any uh, like uh, uh, live project or demo project yes yes we will uh, we will be discussing about uh, with the demo project itself and uh, we will be creating the necessary scripts and we will do the enhancements activities um, we will discuss about different uh, features right and then uh, yeah, we'll also do a live execution results analysis uh, try to use results manager of new loads uh, uh, right so we will do we'll go through all of this uh, so the entire uh, session entire course we will will be learning from the scripting setting up the scenario configuring it executing it analyzing the results uh, using uh, results manager and other filters options we will go through all the all these uh, common uh, activities right yeah yeah sure thanks yes uh, any other questions before i move on okay so course content So uh, there will be a minimum of four sessions per week. This is the uh, target. Um, and uh, each session can go up to 1.5 hours per session. And this, this is based on the uh, topic or the concept that we are discussing. Some concepts are uh, small and quick uh, where we will club multiple concepts and discuss. Some of them are the nature of the concept is just uh, bigger right so uh, we will be uh, taking a, at anywhere between 1 to 1.5 hours per session and there will be a total of 18 to 20 sessions okay this may go uh, up to four or five weeks time uh, okay so this is the expectation and of course there will be a practical lab sessions and these sessions are usually conducted during the uh, weekends or non-business days okay fine so let's proceed with uh, real browser protocol right uh, so i think uh, this is the first uh, uh, batch right about this uh, real browser protocol uh, neolord has recently come up with this uh, uh, real browser real browser is uh, equivalent of true client true client web right some of you may have worked with uh, load runner true client web okay it is very similar but with little bit uh, uh, so with true client web there is a, a development uh, a feature right uh, with load runner but in your load it's very similar but it's just slightly different so we will discuss about it okay so real browser real browser technology is is just on mouse clicks and keystrokes okay this does not have this is not like a typical http protocol where the entire request and responses are used or not like sap uh, web where the entire request is sent as a package but this is all about how a real user is is working on the browser by making all these mouse clicks or keystrokes and uh, that is how a user interacts with the website or any application web application so a real browser abstract away all the protocol scripting complexity okay uh, so as you can see uh, now uh, microsoft has come up with this asdf uh, uh, some some kind of uh, uh, let's say authentication right and there are uh, different kinds of authentication uh, uh, called opta and a few other authentication related uh, uh, let's say a security layer right so what happens these when we are working with these uh, complex 
applications okay so i would i would uh, name all those complex applications uh, let's say adobe flex salesforce uh, pega uh, and maybe even siebel uh, to a certain extent so all these uh, kinds of application has uh, enhanced security and these are predominantly seen in banking finance insurance and reinsurance applications right so what happens uh, when we are working with http protocol okay due to this added security layer there are certain dynamic values where the near load or the browser itself is unable to capture these values and hence those values cannot be correlated right uh, so in that case uh, what happens the script will be redundant with a lot of complex uh, complex view uh, even if we capture it there will be other kinds of uh, encoding or decoding kind of issues where real browser will will solve all these kinds of issues because it is it is kind of it is simulating a real user actions on the browser level okay so let's look at some of the attributes about uh, real browser so with real browser protocol uh, you can rapidly develop uh, rapid test development uh, that is with with a short amount of time we can create a script uh, create a population set up a scenario and execute so more or less uh, let's say in two hours time we can do all these activities okay so this uh, this is really an accelerated uh, script development or i would say test development okay so the scripts that are developed with real browser are highly resistant to any kinds of app volatility right so there are there is business logic right uh, so what happens when when there is a new update happens one is the end user update where the new version needs to be installed or uh, something like that another one is a business logic update uh, when this business logic updates update happens the ui there won't be any change or different in the ui per se it is the same thing the same uh, interactive features can be used but something that is that is happening in the back end right let's say the back office it got changed right so when such business logic updates happens frequently the application uh, tend to become volatile that means uh, the kind of data that gets passed between the uh, server to the uh, client or vice versa it becomes it, it keeps rapidly changing right so real browser resolves that also that is uh, scripts are uh, highly resistant to all these business logic uh, changes right and there is one more part which is real browser tends to use uh, utilize high memory and cpu and then hence it becomes an expensive uh, a way of doing the execution okay we will discuss about this high memory and cpu as we progress uh, so that we all uh, know what exactly that we are looking at okay so uh, let me open uh, neo load okay so i'll show you how we can record a real browser protocol so to be on real browser if you want to work with real browser you have to install a minimum of uh, 9.0 okay i'm on latest version 9.1.1 okay uh, installation of linear load we will discuss tomorrow but for now today i would like to show you yes somebody has any questions yes maybe yes yes I yeah this is uh, for the proxy based or uh, any tools kind of installation proxy based sorry i didn't get you um sorry this is for the like a uh, load run installation like that so this based on that new load like that and uh, 
installation any kind of installation for the apps i i still couldn't understand so what you are asking is uh, uh, installation of yes how to uh, yes yes how to install neo load huh, i will show you where you can go uh, to download the neo load version how you can install it i will uh, show you uh, in the yeah. upcoming session Okay. That's why I'm asking. Yeah, like uh, JMIT also proxy based means working, right? So ah, correct. Right. Now I get it. Ah, fine, fine, fine. So what you are asking is, uh, with the JMeter, we yes. enable the proxy with the Firefox. Yes. Then uh, we will yes. try to establish a con communication between yes. the yes. web browser and the tool, and then we will try to record. Ah. So with NeoLoad, right? NeoLoad is like Load Runner. All these okay. proxies creating proxy servers, all this um, part is done automatically. Okay, so it's not like JMeter where we have to manually set up the proxy and then establish the communication. But with NeoLoad, it, it happens automatically. So I will show you okay. now yeah. how this happens. Okay. Uh, Navin, one more question. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, does this uh, real browser opens all web applications? Yes. Any application that that is working on uh, web browser, you can work with this real browser. Any application. There is no uh, limitation like let's say Java serialization or uh, any specific uh, requirement, right? With the different protocol. E even if the application is uh, have a different protocol, Still, if that can be worked on a web browser, you can take advantage and work with real browser. Okay, so 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 if I if I am testing, let us say Yahoo.com for example, so that can be opened from the near load, and I can use the script, right? I I can uh, real browser, I can use the script, right? Yes, yes, you can use it. So any any web application that's opened on. Uh, uh chrome or uh, ie or firefox that can be opened on the real browser correct it can be worked with but uh, one thing internet explorer is uh, obsolete yes. it is no longer yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. it is yeah. has been yeah. <laughs> now edge is there edge is there yes yes microsoft edge so uh, internet explorer is being decommissioned by uh, microsoft uh, saying like it has some security flaws uh, so now only edge uh, yeah. edge is, is is used and uh, with real browser right there is one part which is uh, i will show you uh, now right so how this will work hmm? uh, do you have any other questions before i continue with the recording that's it that's it okay wonderful all right so uh, so let me show you how we can record a simple script with re, uh, real browser okay see this right start recording this this button you can use this button so I'm getting uh, you can also use a chat box if you have any other questions i will i can i will answer that okay so i will continue i will proceed with this so you can use this start recording button and you can also see it here right start recording okay click on this and this will bring up the start recording wizard okay and uh, let's say like uh, i'm providing some name like sample one and below you can see this right these options different options web web is http it is associated with http protocol sap gui is with sap citrix citrix is citrix ica and then here we see the real browser okay so uh, throughout this course we will be only discussing about real browser we are not discussing about any other protocol okay so let's continue so enable real browser recording so i'm just enabling this okay and here there are few options to look at so recorded selectors okay there are two options so i will we will discuss about these two options in detail okay so for now i am retaining this as xpath okay resolution whatever the default resolution 
that this machine has so this this is just showing up but we can also change this resolution uh, value to the desired value local keep it default and even the time zone best keep it default okay so let me just click on okay see uh, if you see the okay let me continue clicking on okay okay so this is the recording bar okay and this should launch a chrome instance okay so now uh, let's say a chrome instance is being launched okay and here below you can see this right this is in uh, completely in blue color blue color is like a chromium okay so uh, again we will discuss in detail about this what is the difference between this one and this chrome okay so for now i am continuing to the continue to record okay so i will click i'll say launch so i'm launching uh, the application i can see this this is the uh, recorded url uh, that i would like to launch i can click it or i can copy and paste it in the address bar okay and in the transaction uh, so like how we uh, provide the transaction name be it in jmeter or load runner same way just providing the transaction name and then clicking on the application okay so this application has launched now let's say i say go to click fish clicking on this fish button so this has loaded click fish let's say click angel fish clicking on angel fish uh, so select item I'm selecting any of this item. Okay, so I have opened this item. Let's say I decide to go back to the home page. On this home page button. Okay. And this is the workflow. So we will discuss about workflow and other concepts uh, in detail as we progress. So this is the workflow that uh, we have decided. And then you see there is this. This okay. I will just walk you through quickly there is a pause button you can pause the recording in the middle stop stop the recording these are different containers we will discuss about it and this is just used to give a, a transaction name you can add a new transaction and this is a rendezvous rendezvous checkpoint or assembly point okay so for now i have completed the recording and i am clicking on stop okay so the moment I clicked on stop recording, the Chromium instance, it got closed by itself. Okay, and the technologies, which is real browser. Okay, Neoload has detected the following technology, which is real browser. I'm clicking on next. Okay, it is safe to use uh, recorded think time. Okay, later if we want to change, we can change it. I will show you where you can change the think time and think time uh, some of you may know uh, about the think time think time is about is just the human think time okay so if if i am as the end user working on any web application so i am taking some time to transact right see for example let's say if i'm going to this website so i logged in and i am now taking some time to click on this page Again, I'll take some some more time to click on this angel fish, right? So all this, all this, uh, the time taken for the next transaction or uh, the right definition is time taken between two transaction. Okay, that is think time. Okay, so here it is best to use the recorded think time. Okay, later if we need, we can modify it. So I'm using the recording think time and then i'm clicking on finish okay so uh, the uh, script is been recorded and it is ready and uh, 
so we see all this okay so we i will explain all this different uh, um, let's say different uh, actions these are real browser actions you see there is a so let me explain this so i'm expanding okay so how we can interpret this script right this may look little different okay but it is uh, i will show you uh, in a very simple terms uh, you see there is a document with a blue uh, blue ball right with a different uh, uh, kind of uh, icon here this means it's a real browser action okay so if i click on this so this is how the real browser uh, uh, let's say the settings looks like okay you can see the browser is chromium the resolution whatever the resolution that it has used and some some settings that uh, which i have provided as uh, default okay so it's this has taken enus and uh, time zone is asia calcutta so it's plus 530 and uh, user agent user agent is just a piece of code that determines which client uh, the user is working with okay so like this we have other uh, action so you can see this the url and there is a lot of uh, explanation provided here and other attributes that we can also find it here okay uh, don't get overwhelmed by looking at this okay uh, so we have recorded this uh, this script okay uh, so let's say i would like to execute this script okay so how how do i do i you see this there is a check a user path okay i will click on this check a user path so this brings up check a user path validity okay i'm just clicking on advanced okay i will change this handle cache to new user okay so i'm doing this so that every time a new user gets simulated okay that's the uh, and this is by default we have to change this value unless we are looking at a uh, as a recorded one or a returning user okay so for now i have just changed to a new user okay uh, any automation any anybody uh, any automation folks or anybody who has worked on automation uh, i would like to know you can also use chat box anybody who has worked on uh, selenium or uh, some other so i i'm seeing there are no okay fine wonderful so i guess uh, most of them are only from performance okay fine okay in the selenium scripts right there is there is something called as head and uh, with head or headless mode okay uh, with with this real browser it will when we execute this uh, check a user path Right. this will run with the head mode okay so i'm just clicking on so i did not change or modify any settings i have just went to this advanced and changed the handle cache to new user that's that's the only change i have done and then i'm clicking on start checking okay so what this will do is this will invoke a chrome instance right that is a chromium instance it's not a chrome instance it's a chromium instance and then uh, it will manually show show it to us how the exact way how i have navigated the application the same way this is also going to uh, navigate it it is taking time it is because of uh, you see this right the chrome instance has started <laughs> actually it has uh, went too fast okay so i will show show once again start checking
so this is taking some time to invoke a chromium instance so now see this right it is loading which is getting clicked coming back to okay okay see this right so with real browser protocol right there is no uh, there is nothing like correlation right there is there is no uh, challenge of handling all these dynamic values right generally uh, we we know right with the http protocol the correlation just amounts to 80 to 85 percentage of the script uh, progress script development activity okay so we have to get the dynamic value handle the dynamic values and get it right to complete the scripting if the correlation goes wrong then the script will not work as expected real browser completely abstract away all these complexities especially with the complex applications that i have listed pega salesforce siebel uh, and uh, <coughs> flex right these applications has uh, if we do a simple login and logout transaction we can find anywhere between 200 to 300 uh, dynamic values that gets passed around and these applications are resource intensive applications that means if we try to load these applications on a, a chrome browser a lot of content gets downloaded a lot of components gets loaded and different components is is for different purpose and objective so that's how like it's it's a it is like a, a highly complex amalgamation of various uh, components okay so to avoid all this uh, complexities a real browser is a real winner here but with the real browser there are few uh, nitty gritties that we will see uh, throughout this session how we can uh, uh, you know create a standard script that can be associated with the real browser and then work with it anybody has any questions okay so uh, so this is how we can record and uh, replay uh, see this right i did not do any enhancements activity uh, but we will discuss about how we can manually create this script and uh, what is the difference between this x path and css path which is best suited uh, and other uh, settings okay this we will discuss in the upcoming session in the upcoming session we will also uh, discuss about how we can install the latest version uh, neo load into your system and uh, for starting we would not need any license okay for for developing a script and setting up a scenario a license is not required license is required only when we are executing the test okay so i recommend uh, not to sign up for any license at this point of time you can just download the neo load and install it in your into your system and uh, as we progress with the uh, course and sessions we can also continue with that uh, by doing some hands on and as i said there will be uh, troubleshooting sessions or q a sessions where you can get your queries clarified and uh, if you are facing any difficulty you can also share your screen and uh, you will discuss about about that okay just a moment uh, so there is um, if uh, if you have any other questions uh, you can post Let me also use the chat box Yes, anybody has any questions? Okay, so uh, I'm just showing the course content. Uh, 
uh, I hope you can see my screen, right? Can anybody please confirm? Can you see my screen? Okay, great. Fine. So let's go through the content. Okay. So we will be discussing about some all this uh, introduction to Neoload or PT. It's a little bit of, uh, uh, let's say, uh, a theory or some kind of a concepts that we will discuss. And then we will jump into uh, hands on activities. Okay, so we will we will be discussing in uh, so uh, with different kinds of recording, right? So we, I just showed you about the XPath one, but uh, there is much more. We have to deep dive into this XPath and how we can find it in case if we want to modify the existing scripts, how we can do that. Okay, that we will see, and same thing with the CSS, right? So how the CSS plays a role, we will be discussing these two in detail. Uh, there are some real browser actions, right? Some of the actions we will be discussing because these actions are kind of fundamental or base, basic uh, or creates the necessary base to uh, to work with real browser uh, protocol. Okay. There are some assertions and other variable managers how we can Sometimes what happens, uh, we are, if we are, when we are working with real browser actions, uh, the only variable uh, that we would be using is the user defined variable because there is no server sent variables or even if we, we can also try to take advantage of any server sent uh, information, try to extract it and work with it. But mostly with real browser protocol, uh, variable manager is focused that is user defined variables are in the focus so we will discuss some of the variable manager uh, or uh, variables and uh, how we build a population right building a population uh, and we will we'll discuss about this browser emulation network simulation and other aspects then there is monitoring how we can add a monitor uh, to the system uh, runtime, right? How we can create and set up a scenario, different kinds of configurations, policies, uh, and one important aspect is the load engine or load generator resource utilization. Uh, like I said, with the real browser protocol, uh, it is uh, it is memory and CPU intensive. Okay, it is try to consumes more. Uh, co uh, it's, it's it's expensive, right? So we will also discuss. Uh, something in the back background like how how this chromium instance works this instance works as a process it will not work as a thread as somebody was discussing about uh, jmeter right in jmeter it is called as thread group right uh, any script scripts are called as thread group so basically it runs as a thread but with real, real browser this will run as a process and we will see, uh, we will match the positives or pros and cons of these both and how one should prepare for the execution, right? That we will discuss and then with the results, we will uh, look at how uh, a typical real browser uh, results will look like and how we can use this results manager, generating a report, comparing our results, etc. So this is the course content and I will also share this content in the group. Okay. Any questions? Uh, so uh, Neil is asking if uh, there is no prior uh, knowledge on the performance, uh, can, can we work? Of course, yes. So this is a kind of uh, protocol where uh, there is no, uh, let's say the the common let's let's say this uh, dynamic values, handling of dynamic values or something, right? Um, we do not find uh, these uh, these issues here, but but developing a, a script or working with the script, there are other aspects uh, from the real browser uh, 
protocol that we will be discussing and it is uh, and you can uh, really quickly develop uh, the complete tests uh, muninder is asking uh, the duration of this course so as i said duration will take uh, anywhere between 18 to 20 sessions and uh, on an average four to five uh, sessions per week this may go up to four four and a half weeks or maybe up to five weeks of uh, sessions okay uh, the so another question is how is the market for neo load okay good question so if we see this right um, neo load is a proprietary tool right uh, jmeter is an open source load runner again it's a open so uh, sorry load runner is a proprietary and there are different tools uh, that is that is coming in the market and uh, uh, i i am seeing neo load uh, as a, a kind of a, let's say kind of a replacement for load runner right the uh, mostly the companies uh, right or the companies which which is uh, which is of uh, banking finance insurance reinsurance uh, these these domains right these domains uh, usually they will not go with uh, open source unless unless if it's for only internal application okay generally they will prefer a proprietary tool and load runner if you see load runner uh, is is very expensive and near load is three times less expensive than load runner Okay, and uh, Neo Load offers similar feature, but Load Runner has a lot of protocol support. It has uh, a lot of protocol support, and uh, and due to that, they are still one of the industry leading. But with Web, if we look at Web, uh, Neo Load is is trying to take more market share, and now they have come up with this uh, real browser. Uh, more, more, and more uh, shares will will be moved towards neo -load. so neo load is growing and after uh, tricentis acquired neotis uh, they've been pitching they are creating an ecosystem of complete let's say test complete right so they start from uh, uh, the all from the end-to-end -end, uh, test solutions uh, tricentis is trying to provide by partnering with uh, with neotis or acquiring neotis so another question does the protocol supported by load runner by near load uh, i did not understand this question does the protocols supported by load runner by near load sorry if you can rephrase this question I mean, I mean to say, if a load runner uh, supports some protocols, okay, mm -hmm. that, does the same protocols are supported by the Neo load? So the currently with Neo load, right? Uh, these are the protocols supported by Neo load. Web, that is HTTP, SAP GUI, Citrix, and then Real Browser. Okay. 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 So. So there are uh, other protocols. Yes, sorry, sorry. Yeah, tell me. Okay, so uh, learning this uh, new load. So if there is another tool I wanted to update, then I can apply the same similarity of the uh, common terms to other other uh, tools and I can learn directly, right? Correct. Yes. The concept wise, it is the same across different tools. Uh, only the way how the tool will work uh, is different. Any other questions on the course? 